29. What is the difference between a strong and a weak inductive argument? f. The truth of the premises. b. The logical necessity of the conclusion. c. The degree of support the premises provide for the conclusion. d. The number of premises. Answer. c. The degree of support the premises provide for the conclusion. Explanation. A strong inductive argument makes the conclusion highly probable. Dash dash dash. 30. Which of the following is a deductive argument? If the sun will rise tomorrow because it has risen every day before. b. All humans are mortal. Socrates is human. Therefore, Socrates is mortal. c. It is likely to rain today because the sky is cloudy. d. My friend said the movie is good, so it must be. Answer. b. All humans are mortal. Socrates is human. Therefore, Socrates is mortal. Explanation. This argument ensures logical necessity between premises and conclusion. 31. Which of the following is an inductive argument? A. All mammals have lungs. A dolphin is a mammal. Therefore, a dolphin has lungs. B. If all apples are red and this is an apple, then it is red. C. Most dogs are friendly. My neighbor's dog is a dog. Therefore, my neighbor's dog is probably friendly. D. No humans can fly. John is a human. Therefore, John cannot fly. Answer. C. Most dogs are friendly. My neighbor's dog is a dog. Therefore, my neighbor's dog is probably friendly. Explanation. This argument uses probability to conclude, which is characteristic of inductive reasoning.